it's not just a full-time job, it's actually almost a lifestyle choice. Our day generally consists of classical ballet class and then we will rehearse the season that's coming up after the, the season that we're performing that night. So, yeah, it's pretty constant. They're pretty full days. When we're performing, you know, you often get to work at 9.30 to do Pilates before class and then it's class, rehearsals till three, icing, physio, sewing shoes, warm up again for the show, hair and makeup, do the show, ice again and then get home and it's already 11 o'clock at night. Risotto. Roast lamb. Oysters. Toast with strawberry jam. I cook a mean spag bowl. Poached eggs with Vegemite and avocado. I always start the day with a really decent sized bowl of porridge. It's the only thing that gets me through till lunchtime. When we're performing, it's important to have a really good meal for me at about three. With as many vegetables as possible and I need that protein. So lots of fish and chicken and red meat in a snack, 6.30 or so before the show starts. Barocca, salmon, raspberries, jelly beans, bananas, chocolate barocca, would be a bit nice. Preparing for a role such as the Nutcracker part of the, if there's partnering stuff, pecky or bicepy, try and target other muscle groups leading up to it and then you can ease back on it. If you go hard in the gym the day before you have to perform, you know, fatigue might sort of hit you halfway through. The last lift gets a little bit more strenuous than it has to be get very in tune with your body because we do the same sort of routine every day. You might be repeating the same step all day for you know five days in a row and then other days you might have the whole day free which is a wonderful thing but you can't just take that as a holiday because there'll always be something big coming up and um, you've got to really be careful with injuries um, coming back from a break more than anything. I tore my lateral meniscus. Fractured my fifth metatarsal. A stress fracture on my shin. Strained my adductor. The medical team called it a mouse in a hole. And I was like, is that the medical term for it? As a female, being on point obviously puts a lot of pressure on my feet. And I get physio twice a week to keep them in optimum condition. So I know when it goes up what I need to do to get that inflammation down. Ice baths. Yoga, Pilates, body conditioning. Gym work, swimming's really good. My therapy, physio, massage, overall strengthening, pineapple. It's an anti-inflammatory. Not pushing yourself beyond the breaking point. And recovery, definitely recovery. There are shows when I cannot wait to put my feet in an ice bucket. It's a really important part of my recovery. Because we're dealing with a lot of adrenaline being on stage, which is a wonderful feeling, um, it puts a lot of stress on your adrenal system, on your nervous system. Stress is a big part of that. It's not just physically what we do, but dealing with the challenges of this career and living up to your own expectations. And you know, that can all take its toll. So I do a lot of meditation and visualisation and I read a lot. I take the dog on an hour walk and I just get up the house. And I'll go for a Thursday ride for about 30, 40 k's, or a Sunday ride. That's nice. I like doing that. Play the piano. Football. I play lots of video games. Shopping. Sing in the car. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Play with my kitten. Doing nothing at home. I love doing that. Ladies and gentlemen of the Australian Ballet, it's your 15 minutes. If it's like an opening night or side stage, you can kind of get really worked up if you if you don't breathe, so I just sort of, t I like to tell myself just to be grounded and, yeah, feel the floor. That's probably the only thing that I constantly tell myself, yeah. Like any athlete, we do really need to look after ourselves, but also beyond dancing, I like feeling good. I like feeling vibrant and alive and energetic and we all have our unique little things we do but it all comes down to the fact we want to feel as good as we can and get the most out of our bodies.